Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Just want to say thank you. I appreciate the support on the channel. Appreciate you coming back and watching another video. And if you're new, appreciate you stopping by and checking out the snakes. So we're going to be checking out the angry or the defensive VPI Aztec and been working with her a lot lately. A few times a day holding her, just kind of uh, letting her know who I am and making some progress, but it's still going to be a long journey. So I say this now, things might change in about two minutes, but um, she hasn't bit me. She still hisses, still strikes just a little bit, but no bites. So that is a improvement than before. But before we check her out, I really want to show you guys um, this gorgeous ball python and I had two that shed out, so I want to see you guys really fast. So, not the prettiest shed, but a complete shed nonetheless. All of the important parts of the shed are off of her. So, she has no eye ca stuck eye caps. And down around her area where she goes to the bathroom or butt, there is nothing there that is stuck. So, a lot of times from here down um, some stuck shed can dry on there and then when they grow it can kind of cut off some circulation and then they get backed up and then they can't go to the bathroom but uh, this lady looks incredible after a shed and I know a lot of people aren't really big on the ball pythons but um, I like the banana ball pythons and then I definitely like the fact that it is a peanut. So we have another lady over here that got some new skin. We got the pastel pied. Nothing ridiculous, but looks really nice. Very low white. So we'll see what she looks like as she grows. And here's her shed. So she bled a little bit on the shed. Not sure why, but we got to get uh, both of these cages cleaned and new paper towels in there so they're they're fairly new um still babies and so i like to keep my paper towels just to make sure if anything bad happens and once again uh, pop tarts water area needs to be cleaned this is a daily um chore and if you guys own anacondas you know exactly what i'm talking about the interesting thing with her is the last couple of days I've been in here checking snakes, feeding snakes, and filling up water bowls, and I'll just leave the sliding glass open just a little bit. And doing that, she's actually come out quite often and just kind of roams the room. Uh, I get to pick her up and hold her, and she's a very, very nice, uh, mild-mannered anaconda, which is good. I hear a lot of bad stories and stuff on snakes that, uh, especially anacondas, greens that they're nasty and they're mean and all that stuff but um i have not had that experience with either one of these girls but then again i do spend a lot of time with them and holding them as their babies daily multiple times a day uh, if i can with work it's difficult but at least at least every day um i do, i like to hold them and and the burmese a lot of these bigger snakes it's good so they, they know the interaction with us. So we don't have monster snakes that are evil. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say evil, um, angry. So the VPI Aztec, I'm sure she'll start hissing away. Uh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, she's been, her mood has been better. I'm not gonna say great or awesome, but um, manageable a little bit more than how it has been. So, yep, there she is, and we've worked our way past the gloves, and then we can see that she uh, still hisses and stuff like that. But one thing that I have noticed is that if I, we'll see if it works, I have been holding her up higher than myself, and it has definitely started to calm her down, so... There we go. So she's acting a little better now. Not saying she won't strike or can't strike, but her 
attitude does get a little bit better, but she'll start hissing here if I make sudden movements or if she touches me with her head or anything like that. But this girl is gorgeous. Looks really, really nice. And then I do have her sister, which is over here, and she can throw fits if she wants to. So her sister is the VPI IMG. I have no idea what the pairing was of the parents, but it's pretty cool. I mean, um, Chai Town Constrictors was the uh, producer of these, and obviously the mom and the dad had some really, really awesome jeans, VPI, IMG, Aztec, and who knows what else. But, so here we are. Um, not terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she got a little, I hey, get this, you want to go back? Maybe a little bit. I think she does. So she's slipping through my fingers. And so not terrible. And so we're just kind of letting her go back on her own. Let her do what she wants to do. And I definitely do not want her to go <laughs> up and through here. I, I have had snakes slip up and then go under here. And then it is kind of annoying to get out because... Then they go in the far back. Most of the time they go underneath the heat pad. So then I got to take the three tubs out, lift the heat pad up. And get you know, because there's not much room. And then with her going back there, then she'd be cornered in there. And I guarantee she would strike. So you can tell she's still skittish. But we're making, we're making moves. And so that's, you know, positive. That's all we need. A little bit of positivity. And this girl... Um, I've noticed when she's in shed, she can throw an attitude as well. Uh, so we'll just see what she looks like. It is really interesting that they're sisters and that they have two totally different attitudes. But when she's in shed, she will throw a fit. So this girl is gorgeous as well. And, you know, you know like I said... Um, I don't know who else bought off of this litter. I know um, some more IMG VPIs were for sale and bought. And then the other, I know there was, there was another female and then a couple males off of the VPI Aztecs that were bought as well. So I wonder how, I wonder whoever has them. I wonder if they uh, have the same attitude problem as I do or not. So that's really it. And then this girl right here, the fire and she yellow belly pied female should be shedding out very, very soon. And then her colors are pretty much back to normal. And then she'll shed out here in the next couple of days, which is super exciting. So just really wanted to show you guys and give you guys an update on some of these snakes that are shed, have shed. And then obviously the VPI Aztec. So now that she's I'm not going to mess with her right there. She's definitely in backed up in the corner mode. So I will keep giving you guys updates. I hope soon. Um, it has been a couple of weeks, you know, to get to this point, if not a month or two. But, um, you know, hopefully I can just scoop her out like I can do any of my other snakes. And we won't have any issues like the male. At some point, I hope I can just do this right here to that girl down there so it'll happen at some point we will earn her trust <laughs> so again i appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel and hopefully you guys have an awesome day i'll see you guys on the next video